Pug TV. This is J Adrian. It's Monday night, and we've got some Ion lined up, which feels like it's been a week since we've played this one. Well, I guess really it has. We're coming off of a a big Guild Wars 2 weekend binge. My goodness, I didn't realize we could put so much gaming of one game into one weekend, but we did. It. I don't know, it just would have been too much to stream the entire weekend for that. I could have, but, you know, once we get around the Jadrian household during the day, lots going on. Friday, I little interruptions here and there. The weekends would have been a lot worse, so I figured, eh, you had, you had, you had enough of me on Friday, if you even watched any of that. Some of us did. I was like, wow, it was very fun. But this weekend, we got to play with uh, the Gamer Me. And I'll tell you, I say that, but in all honesty, it was really tough because um, the way they do zones and instances and grouping is kind of kind of difficult. Yeah, so I won't bore you with details, but it, it made for trying a trying time when, when hoping to get out there and, and game with, with friends, so... Yeah, tough. But yeah, we had Eagle Claw there. He was there the entire time. I think we clocked in on Friday. I think we clocked in a good 10 hours, maybe 11. That's pushing it. But it was like 10 hours at least. Because I started at um, about 1.30 Central. And I don't know when I stopped streaming, but it was it was pretty late. Eagle Claw has us in at 11 hours. Whew. That was rough. And then when we actually got together Saturday with uh, the gamer me, there was a bunch of issues with the queue and figuring out how to do overflow, and it was pretty crazy. Had a guild. It was a good time. I don't know. I was thinking about doing like a recap episode. I might do a recap beta impressions. I put I put some thoughts up on my blog. Not a whole lot of in depth, but just some of the problems that we saw. So if you go to jadrian.wordpress.com, you'll see some some ideas on the the Guild Wars. I'll just put more on the blog. You can go read about it. It won't hurt you to read. I'll write it. You read it. I'll put more impressions up. But for now, we've got Ion tonight, and my wife is loaded up and ready to go. She's sitting over here waiting on me to, <laughs> to get going. So, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, FOP. Our nickname in the our guild nickname in Guild Wars was FOP. FOP. Thanks. You know, the Friends of Pug was cool, but then FOP. We had to go around with FOP. We need to work on that. <laughs> FOP. It was all good, though. Thanks, guys. And in the in the um, Pug pen, we got the Gamer Me, we got Eagle Claw, and we got Obram. So thanks, guys, for taking the time to watch tonight. We're just going to run through and see what kind of mischief. My goal is to get new clothes. Like, these are very cool hip-looking clothes for a mage, but not the kind of hip looking clothes that I want for a mage. I already missed my rifle, so let's see what we can do. We got quite a few of these going on, so where to? Alright, we're off. I think I've worn my wife out. She's not very talkative today. So she's going to lead us through on some Quests. What does he do? Nice day, isn't it? Oh. Take care. I guess we have to get five ore. Yeah, we have to pick up five silver ore. Boy, after all that gaming on Friday, I'm actually not very talkative. I think Friday was enough talking to last for a while. Crazy times. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do up in here. The Ducat. Oh, I'm being attacked by uh, my pet. My 
pet has a mind of its own. Hello. Kill it. There we go. I think my wife's fighting something. Nice. Hmm, my wife's having some pooter issues. Her monitor earlier went to sleep and just went to sleep on her and didn't wake up. And now she's getting some lag. I'm not quite sure what's going on with her PC right now. It's a little bit of a bummer. So I gotta get silver, but I have to build up my mining. Would well, you know what skill level I need for that? All right. All right. So that's depressing. So this is definitely a game that encourages you to build your ga gathering skills. Oh, there's a bunch of iron. Ah, oh, this one. Uh oh. Here come lots of bad guys. It almost looks like my little pet's trying to attack. Was I dying? I couldn't tell. Not anymore. Aggro, I know. Tell ya. Oh, that's silver. Yeah, it's like we gotta relearn. We got the Guild Wars ingrained. The the Guild Wars key binding layout worked real good for the way I play and how my, my hand fits on the keyboard, so I I have to kind of get used to this again to make sure I'm hitting all the right buttons and whatnot. But I gotta do that almost every day anyway when I switch from game to game to game. Keyboard layout's a little bit different. My combos, how I like them, my powers and stuff are just arranged ever so slightly different. So, but anyway, I hope I don't have to gather too much of this iron in order to go up there and mine the silver. I got a tapping now of 31. I think it hit 30 when I got the last piece of iron, so I'm hoping 30 is all I need for the silver. That would be nice. Oh, that silver's disappeared. <gasps> she took it. Alright, we gotta find some silver. We're gonna fight our way out? Yep. Oh, that's a big nasty. And we got some money. Fry him up. More iron. Kind of anxious to see what the next fire spirit looks like. I'm not sure at what level I get my next my next fire pet. Hey, and Cynic's on. How's it going, Cynic?
I would hate to work for this mining company. Don't be a what? Don't be a cobalt. I know. Like, well, you know, we got good benefits. The work's not that bad. Really, the only biggest big problem we have is these adventurers that kind of come in here and kill us. Uh, we're doing good. Thank you for asking. We're just trying to get back in the swing of things. The Our Guild Wars 2 weekend really cut a big chunk of time into our lives. I had to I was going to mow the... <laughs> I was going to run some chores on Saturday, so I kept trying to walk away from the computer. And we kept finding ways, to, you know, it was like, well, you know, instead of mowing the yard, you know, you can you can mow the yard like Monday or something. I was like, yeah, I suppose I could do it Monday evening. And then usually I like to run the trash down on on Saturday as well. I have like a little routine I like to do. And we just kind of eventually were like, meh, you know, the beta is only this weekend, so just do all your chores on Monday. So we got the trash down and taken care of, but then right when I thought about actually mowing, it decided to rain. So, of course, to be nice, the neighbor on either side of us, they've mowed, so our place really stands out like a sore thumb. Iron. Let's see if I can get that without fighting. My essence tapping is now at 33. Oh, 35 for silver? Okay, so we're close. It is still 33. Come on. Oh, and Crenshaw is here. Hey. This Crenshaw says, looks like the wife cleaned up, cleaned up Jadrian real good. What do you mean? Who said I clean up? Come on. Oh. I'm trying to shoot at a corpse. I need like a wand or something that just keeps shooting. Mana block. Zap it again. Oh, so close to getting silver. Which means I'm nowhere close to this rose quartz. Do you see it? Okay, see it. Corpse, and then iron. <clears throat> Still at 33. Come on. There we go. 34. I need one more point. Because <clears throat> I know how much they enjoy watching me mine. One more point. Goodness gracious. Alright, I'm still at 34. Whoopsh. Whoopsh. Well, at least that will help us take out one of our missions, or quests. Nope, I'm trying not to. I don't think it's aggressive though. Oh, it will be. Okay, got a little iron here. 
Got it. Alright, I got it. My wife's barking out orders like a general. She's like, take the iron, I'll kill this thing. She's great. She's got me covered. Like a Jimmy hat. 83. Alright, now on to the silver. And Crenshaw says, you know who I think is attractive. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't make my wife read the comments. She's looking over here. Uh oh. What is this? Nasty thing. What's that? Mine. My wife says, Mine. Silver ore. Okay, well, I can at least finally gather the silver ore. I'm not turning or stopping. Alright. That one is done. And now I can assist. How much silver do I have? I have three. I just need the two more. Oh. Uh, you're. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't see it. I was trying to read the comments. I don't multitask. Okay, don't move while I read the comments. So. Uh, Crenshaw goes, Jason is a good looking guy. I was talking about Morgan Webb, though. Oh, you know who I think is a track? Yeah, Morgan Webb is, but that that's the thing. I heard about that, that uh, Adam Sessler is leaving. Oh, she took it. Hey, can I be one of those guys? I'm going to be one of those guys who tries to get in there right in between. Okay, okay, okay. I know I'm looking for you. There you are. Okay. So yeah, they have to find a new. I don't know who is going to replace Adam Sessler. I thought it was going to be that the other guy that they have on that show with them. Yeah, let's see here. And Crinto says that's why it, it's repeats. No way, that's epic. Yeah, Adam Sessler's leaving, so that's probably why they might be doing some repeats. They had to get new stuff filmed with a new co-host. This last episode was today or yesterday. I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even bother. I don't even care anymore. I stopped watching that show a long time ago. <sighs> I was like, I hate them. They have like the coolest jobs in the world. I hate them, so I stopped watching. I uh, no. My wife said don't ninja loot. So we got my own. Well, okay, so I got all my silver. I'm good. I'm legit. Too legit. What is this thing? Rather large stack of stolen item. Hey, I got something. Oh, hello. Captain Captured Shugo. Maybe the uh let's see Crenshaw says maybe they will get the guy from Sugar Ray. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I think he does. He still do that one sing-off song show. The was it? Don't forget the lyrics. All right. I think we're good. Mini map. There she is. Cause I just wanna fly. Wiki 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 wiki. That's a job I wouldn't mind having, though. I'd love to be a host for something like that. 
get to travel to all the big fancy gaming events be a good excuse to take the family on vacations but we just have to go to Dragon Con and Comic Con and Anime Expo Con and Anime Drago Comic Con Oh, we have a friend who who does stuff and goes to different conventions and apparently they don't they don't pay for the family to go sad oh again me says he does entertainment tonight still I didn't I didn't know he was doing so I only thought I thought okay I won't kill it I honestly thought he only did the one show but I don't watch entertainment weekly though I'm kinda out of the loop on cool shows don't kill it though. How about. Okay. The Watcher we would kill. And Cringe says, I could imagine Jay and wife doing some cosplay. You know, we've debated doing that. How about the bruiser? Kill the bruiser? Okay. Like, for Halloween or something, just coming up with different stuff. And we've always thought maybe we'd. We would look really smart doing like Lord of the Ring outfits. I do Aragorn, and she would do whatever the the chick, the elf chick. What was her name? Ar Arwen. Us. We've talked about that before. Well, who'd you be? She wants to be Gandalf. <laughs> she says she'd be Eowyn. That's the the Rohan. Oh shoot! No, don't. Don't kill it. How do I? There you go. Pacify it. Here, just just come rest. Come rest. It's peace mode. I'm hitting all kinds of buttons. Okay. I was coming. I was coming. All right. Here he is. Brought it back. Brought it back. Apparently, I wasn't supposed to kill that thing. I don't know, I have a habit. She targets it, I try and kill it. I'm over here. I can't move. Why? What's this all about? I'm here. Oh, is he supposed to take him somehow? Well, come here and take it, Gaffrey. Oh, come on, Gaffrey. Great. We have a uncooperative NPC oh. yep yeah, Mimi 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 T went away okay so I will not attack it you're just gonna go okay I tell you what let me dismiss the pet so the pet's not there at all and then you want me just to hit it or to shoot it once Okay, I will get his attention. What? These two things are in love? Alright. Here we go. Pop. I'm running, 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 running. Run away. Oh, as long as he doesn't hurt Clyde. Alright. We're trying this again. Goodness gracious. It's like working with children. Alright, got it. Has waited so long to see you. They're in love. We did it. Please, you mustn't speak to me. But Gaffer can't just forget about beautiful Mimity. No. You are the only one I have ever loved. I love you too, but you know it as well as I. Little sugars and a cobalt can never be together. It's just not possible. <laughs> Oh, Mimity, my love. Oh. Hmm. Well, that didn't work out the way I thought it would. I was almost happy for them. Alright, so let's talk to him now and see... What's up? I got... Oh, man! And I'm level 16. Yeehaw!
Alright. And it's Clyde time. Let's see what kind of... Ugh, he didn't enjoy that at all. So much for cleaning. Cleaning a dirty, dirty pet. Yeah. He doesn't like getting soap in his eye, apparently. Whatever. Yeah. Crenshaw says the rodent population on this planet has evolved into humanoids. Yeah, I see you jumping. I'm right here. Oh, I clicked on it earlier. <laughs> Since I don't read the quest, she's, she has to tell me what to do. Bring the seal to that guy. She's the official lore keeper and quest reader, so I have to just do what she says. Can't, is it clear for me to fight? I can kill it all. Pop. Pop. Oh, yeah. I keep hitting the attack button for my pet, but I forgot I got rid of it. See, I'd totally be lost in these games if my wife wasn't here steering me where I gotta go, so. It's a collaborative effort here. Alright, let's get them. We are equal opportunity creature killers. I know. We should hit. She said they're stinking kobolds, and it's like we should probably hit them with soap. Get soap in their eyes. Crenshaw says reading a quest is like reading the manual or a map. No self-respecting man does that. I know, right? <laughs> My wife says I read the instructions when I when she tells me to. Yeah, yeah. But luckily, this isn't one of those times. Because <laughs> she's already read it, so I just I just follow along and do as I'm told. That seems to work out best a lot of times. You are a wonderful person. She's the navigator, is how I put it. That was one thing I liked about kind of about like some of the quests and missions for the Guild Wars too, is they didn't have like huge blocks of dialogue. You just kind of showed up and they let you know what was going on, and you took it from there. So it was perfect. I'd say probably the game that's got the best quest dialogues are has been uh, Lord of the Rings because they're just these epic stories but then that's the problem with them is there's so much dialogue yeah I don't read them I, uh, again oh, okay I think I already took it silly group Yeah, I like Lord of the Rings, but their quests are just like big walls of text you gotta get through. Like it's just a challenge to get through the quest mission stories. Boom. I got a nice bracelet. Got it. Oh, got lots of folks today. Let's see. King Koala is in. How's it going, King Koala? And then we got Emmy Cyber Schreiber. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'm not very good with names. But anyway, welcome. Welcome to the Pug Pen. hoping maybe some of these quest rewards will actually drop some decent looking clothing. I don't know why, but that's like my goal. I just can't stand what he's wearing. Alright, we are surveying the battlefield.
Oh, I'm going to ask my wife. Have you done anything extra with your house since the last time we looked at it? Oh. Oh. My pet. Uh. <sighs> he probably won't stop until one of them is dead. I should probably go take care of that. Forget how aggressive pets can be sometimes. Hey, don't shoot my guy. Okay, we're we're ready to go. Oh, this way. Whew. No, why? You, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, my pet's gonna be the death of me one day. He is on move, and he only attacks when I tell him to attack. But unless I get attacked. Well, I don't know. He's maybe I'm tab happy. I need to be. Maybe I just need to double check my tabs before I send him off to attack. I have this habit of like hitting tab one time and then just sending my pet off. So if I accidentally tab the wrong creature, he's gonna go do his own thing. See, I almost did it there. Yeah, we're actually very, very happy with the strength and durability of the Chanter, which is what my wife is playing. Uh, she plays this game a lot of times by herself solo, and that's what her main character is, is a Chanter. Um, you know, not not that we've played this game much, but um, you know, once it went live here in North America, the free-to-play, but she's got like level 24 now? Something like that. And she doesn't play it all the time. She's she does a lot of EverQuest too as well, but just in the in the little bit of time that she's dedicated to it, she's been able to get her chanter up to twenty four and she mostly pretty much just solos, so it's uh, actually a very versatile class. So for me to tap have this wizard, something that's kinda squishy and play with her chanter actually makes for a pretty good team. I'm debating though on taking up a scout class. I like I like the bow, and that was something that we tried to do before, uh, at least with my wife being the scout. It's just that we have not found any low level any low level bows, and I think we read somewhere that you had to be level 10 before you could pick up a bow. So you had to had to get through all the lower levels of your your dual wielding and things like that before you could get up and ooh. I don't need those. So it would just be a matter of trying to play through enough content just to get a bow, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, if that's what you want, sometimes you got to do the, the stuff you don't like to get to the stuff you really like. see here and Rigoberto welcome welcome to Ion Monday night just watching us play our low level peoples And actually, I am pretty happy. These characters are actually much higher than what we did uh, when we were playing Ion before on the European server. So, we're slowly moving up into different content. go. 
and slowly getting used to ooh, knowledge gloves. I'll take them just in case. Slowly getting back to the feel of the game. Yep, I want the ring. Let's see, Obram says, I'm actually playing a scout right now, kind of squishy solo pre-10. Alright, how about this cobalt cook? Alright. Yeah, luckily, even though the scout's kind of squishy, usually when I play, I'd have my wife as backup, so uh, we usually play duo. So even if it is a little bit squishy, I th we'd still probably be able to get through the lower content pretty good, just to get up to the the ranger part and from what we've heard if you go the ranger route ranger they're saying is like much better even than the uh, on the assassin and then Emmy says uh, what server are you playing on I think we're on the seal server yeah we're on seal wow that's some nice stuff if I could wear it did you claim any of it Alright, we'll just roll. <gasps> just take our Porgus. So we kill all this... Okay. Oh, so we, we kill all this stuff surrounding it. Now she's going to try and ninja steal our pig. That sounds about right. Uh, I, they're just rude. Oberman says, I normally always play a ranger in all the games I play. I I do a lot of times. I like the ranger. I just like distance weapons. I get so tired with my poor little soldier having to chase everything down to stab them. You know, because in some games, you get something low enough, they, they actually run, and then you got to chase them down. And if you do PvP... People are always running. So I love games that let you shoot on the run. I have to admit, as much as I I clicked it, as much as I had... We do? Okay. As much as I got problems with World of Warcraft not liking it, the one thing I did like was the Hunter PvP because I could gun people down. Shoot them down like dogs. Poppy is slowly following you. And Amy says, if you were on seal, we might see someday, but not in a friendly way. Uh-oh, not in a friendly way. Oh, I'll leave my pet there. Hmm. Yeah, we, uh... I don't know, it might be a little while before we get up to where there's the PvP. We... Oh, I think my pet, my pet is gone. Yeah, I th thought I would help out, but all right, we'll just stick with the pig. But yeah, I haven't tried any PvP in Ion yet, and I hear it's actually pretty cool, like with flying and stuff like that. And I have to admit, that is something I want to try when, when I get to it. So sure, look us up. You're going down. Or up if you're flying, whatever. It's all relative. <laughs> and Emmy, you know, not bragging or nothing, but she's like, today I killed eight Elios. Yeah. I eat Asmodians for breakfast. That's right. We grind up their bones and sprinkle it over our toast. No kidding, this pig needs like some roller blades or something. Can we just pick up the pig? If I could just pick up the pig, I would run. Come on, pig. He's coming. Hopefully there's no fights to defend against here in town with the pig. And then Emmy says, well, I was happy doing my quest and they attacked me. Oh, so you're... I see. So that's always how they say it starts. I was minding my own business when swooped down out of the skies. The Elios attacked me, so I had to defend myself. Good. We only had to escort the piggy once. 
And there's our experience. Oop, I must have clicked the wrong button. Here we go. Okay, watch my experience jump. Let's see how far it goes. Wow, quite a bit. Awesome. And Amy says, I only left I only left one alive. It was so frustrating. Two clerics healing like idiots. Oh, well, you know, I mean, that's kind of why they have clerics. <laughs> I mean, I'd feel more sorry and sympathetic for you, but you're on the other side, so. I don't have to feel bad. Ooh, story time. Whatever odium is, we're going to neutralize it. And Digikid, welcome. Welcome to our little corner of the internet. There she is. Rough, like I gotta talk to this guy and turn in my ore now. Miss Evergreen. Now, I want... Guess I'll take more hit points. Oh, wow. I need to... Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I don't surprise my inventory is just about full. Because that never happens. Let's see. Uh, I think I like the belt I got. Yeah, I'll probably just end up selling a bunch of this junk. Oh, I do have my books. I gotta read them. I'm gonna have to spend time one day off camera just going through my books and finding out what stuff I've got. I should have like an Earth Elemental by now. And Amy says, there are spy quests. Uh, you have to go to the other side. If you try it, it's hard to complete them. And your first spy quest is at 23. Well, that'd be cool. We like that kind of stuff. We like kind of espionage things. So that would be kind of neat. Alright, let's try the General Merchant. Let's sell some of this garbage. Sell my miscellaneous. Oh, well, at least I got a couple things to sell. Not much. Okay, I don't need that. Hmm. I'm going to have to look at my stones and actually assign them, it looks like. Alright, well, I'm not that full. I got a couple quest items that once I get turned in will free up a couple spots. Some iron coins that I can at some point try to spin. I think I'm okay for now. I cleared up some spots by reading my book. Let me see if I... Oh, I gotta see if I got my next pet. Uh, I gotta summon Earth. I think the Earth is supposed to be a good tank. So I'm gonna try that. I think, I think with you, though, I might just keep fire because that's going to be DPS, I think, but the, the Earth, I hear, is pretty good for... We'll just see. We'll try it out. Unless it's pretty stupid looking. Sometimes I don't care what the pet does. I mostly go by what looks cool, and so far that, that Earth pet doesn't look too cool. Might stick with fire. Sometimes it's about how you look doing the thing rather than how well you do the thing. I mean, dead is dead, but if you look good, dead. That's important. I mean, who's going to stop to help out a really all mangled up ugly corpse? But if it's a nice looking corpse, they might be more willing to stop and help you out. Yay, another quest turn in. Aerial Luma, friend. 
I want that ring. I'm all about the. You know, I got enough magic points that that kind of isn't really my problem. I probably want might want to focus on some hit points. Okay, we're good on magic. Okay, Frank. I see some interesting names on the ladies. Hello, Frank. Mrs. Frank. Okay, the last quest is I, I have questuses. The questuses I have is retrieving supplies, stolen jewelry, gift to a pilgrim, and brainwashed Teres. I can't read the last that word, but Tersi something or other. Tersen. Tersen guards. Brainwash Tursen guards. Oh, you know what? What else do I got? Actually, is it under veteran? Okay, so under campaign, I've got Odium in the Dukaki settlement. Alright, I've got that one marked. The which one? In my. Then under, oh, I thought that said veteran. It's late. All right, so under Verderon, I've got retrieving supplies, stolen jewelry, an antidote for Rosino, Altino's wedding ring, gift to a pilgrim, and then the bra brainwashed person. All right, let's do it. And I still haven't got any better clothes. I mean, these would be good, like, non-combat clothes. I feel like I'm going to get dirty. You know, it's like, Ugh, don't get dirt on my outfit. I need something a little more robust, some, some like, good mage battle robes or something. Oh, this guy's got a quest over here. Do we want that? Okay, that one. Lightning Foot Tuka. All right, well, that one's in progress, so... And oh, lightning foot Tuka. Ooh, get a lesser running scroll. I accept your quest. See, and, and the lucky thing, since my wife's already gone through these with her solo character, it's just kind of, and her mind is like razor sharp. So it's just a matter of just coming back and running through them a second time with with our our backup peoples. Uh, my wife's helping me keep an eye on the chat. Oh. Oi. What do we do with follow it or kill it? Alright, go earth pet, catch it. Oh my goodness. Let's see, can I... He sure is. I've only got like one spell that will let me kind of cast on the run. Okay, good. He's backing around. Oh, man. Go pet. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Whew. That guy's fast. Pet. Oh, no. Where's my pet going? No, 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 no. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. That's great. <laughs> my pets are awful. Oh, my goodness. I know I w really wanted to play a summoner. I looked at some of the, the pet videos. There was like an Ion wiki that I went to, and it showed these really cool video clips of some of the higher level pets that you get, and I thought, now that's for me. And they are more trouble. You know, it's like you buy a dog, you bring it home, you open the door to let it out of the car, and the first thing it does is run away. 
that's what these pets feel like sometimes. It's like, welcome home. Thanks, fire spirit. So that was your spirit. It went home. It went back to the earth. So... Flame bolt. I wish these guys would like scream out the name of whatever it is they're casting, like Street Fighter. Firebolt. Firebolt. Kind of like my wife's this, her scout. Every time her scout fought, she would like scream at the top of her lungs. Like she'd come out of. She'd come out of stealth and be screaming. Yep, her tennis yells. There it is, take that. Oh, they never have this stuff. Never have this stuff. That's like my... Well, I was going to say my biggest pet peeve. I got lots of pet peeves with MMOs, but one of my pet peeves is the perpetual kill a thousand of these particular creatures hoping that one of them will drop the item you need and if the game is really sadistic you know each person in the party has to obtain X amount of items and the items when they drop are not shared so <sighs> like this, this is one of them that's kind of the infuriating thing about well I won't say infuriating but definitely one of the you know like great it's one of them games where for some reason some of the quests I'll pick up a quest item and my wife will get quest credit as well and then some of them will kill the creature and the quest credit for picking up an item is not shared it just there's like no rhyme or reason to the ones that share and don't share and so we end up doing twice the work just to make sure everybody gets the items that they need yeah you know I mean you know it's a pacing thing keeps you not blowing through the content but at the same time can get annoying when you're just waiting on that one special random drop Uh, and then uh, Emmy says, Ion Pets even have a site. Oh, they have their own site. Ion-pets.com slash English. I'll have to check that out. I like the pets. I need Naya's necklace. And Falcon Wings is in. How's it going, Falcon? Oh, Falcon Wing says, tried to catch up with you guys in game, but you didn't see my message. Oh, man, you know what? You're probably absolutely about a thousand percent correct. We we get so focused on the running from our quest that, like, I've got the chat up. It's kind of hidden down behind my the little picture of me, and it's like, I don't even... I don't even notice half the stuff that goes on if, if people try to message us. Mostly I don't look at because you're like the only person that we know in game. So yeah, that, that totally was going to get overlooked. So I apologize. 
And Amy says, yeah, item drop can be uh, sometimes annoying, but it's not that bad most of the time. But I had to kill one mob like 15 times to get one item. Yep. That's like the story of our lives. What's funny is, I had to say though, in EverQuest 2, you know, they have the same thing, game to game. EverQuest 2 is no exception, but um, there was a running joke they had for a while, my, my wife and her friends. I'll probably jinx the whole process now that I'm telling you this story. But there was one time they were... Yeah, I'm gonna tell... Well, you're not on the microphone to tell the story. Someone has to tell your legend. All right, so I'm going to tell this story one time because she said if I tell the story and make the magic go away, that would, that would be horrible. So I'm going to tell the story once. So no one... I have not told the story a dozen times. So this will be this will be the last time I tell the story, but none of you can tell the story because you'll make the magic go away. So her magic in the thing is they were hunting for a, a drop. Hmm? It's her magic. Don't steal her magic. I'm just sharing the magic, but don't don't take the thunder. So they were hunting for something, and I think she said they had killed like like 2,000 of these creatures trying to get this one drop, and it wouldn't drop. And so finally she goes, you know, th they should really improve the drop rate on these things. And then, bam, the very next creature they killed dropped the item. Okay, so it might not have been 2,000, but it was a bunch Ah, oh, and then she said it was one of those items where each person needed their own drop. And after she said that, everybody got it what they needed within the next three minutes. And I know that that's, that's been one of the things that um, she's done a couple times where she said her little magic phrase and then boom, they got the drops they needed. So you have to find your own special magic to make the drops happen. You can't steal her magic. Don't take my wife's magic. You have to come up with your own thing. So get your magic plushie doll. Get a magic stress relief squeeze ball. Do something. What box? Oh, this box. The crate. The crate, boss. Hey, we got the village supplies. Take it to crate. That guy don't look too happy. Uh, let's see here. Falcon Wing says, no problems. Have a, have a MS for you. I don't. What you <laughs> I can, I have to get my wife to bed. She's talking nonsense again. She goes, but I don't want multiple sclerosis. <laughs> and then it. <laughs> he said, I have an MS for you. And she says, I don't want multiple sclerosis. And then Emmy says, I just insult the mob until it drops it. That's what I need to do. I need to put like a, I need to make a macro for an insult. Then I can actually insult stuff. What are you doing, wife? Your hands are ablaze. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You kill at a distance. Yeah, like, like able to kill a yak at a thousand yards with nothing but the power of your mind. Well, you're like a superhero. It's like, oh, but her therapist took her superpowers. It's like you have ESPN or something. This place looks familiar. Die, big mouth. Oh, okay. Now we can nuke them. Come on, nuke them. I just wish this guy's magic casting was like just a scunch faster. He just seems to take forever to cast. I'm right clicking and I have a striking rod. I have the rod of striking within my grasp. And here's a crate. Oh my goodness, these people need to pay better attention to their stuff. Okay, I now have three out of seven. Let's 
So we'll have to set some time aside to visit with uh, Falcon Wing. Okay, what are you shooting? Oh, here's a loud mouth. Alright. That will help. Boom. Boom. Alright, I might kill the loud mouth. Got it. Oops. Oh, I thought I was... Well, I thought I had it on, on the one y you were doing. That's okay. Well, before it was dead, I thought I was attacking it. You're right, which is why it targeted something else. She gets so mad when I target the wrong stuff. <laughs> She's like, good thing I made a healer. <laughs> That's true. That's kind of why we had her decide to play a healer, because we needed someone that could handle that. Oh, come on, get up the mountain. They like little Sherpa guides to help me get up the mountains. Yes, yes, take the grain sacks already. Alright, while well, she's killing that. What about you, Clyde? I want you to exercise. There you go. Jump rope, jump rope, jump rope. So close to getting a little gift from him. I haven't, f I haven't found uh, anything to spend those coins on yet. There's no box here for me. Okay, take it. How about I get the silver? Should I get the silver? But it builds my skill. So, I gotta get built up. Then maybe I can help participate gathering in the future. Oh, come on, don't fail. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, did you see how close I was? That is a rip. Uh, I'm not turning. I'm not looking. There we go. Oh, man. Can I turn and look now? Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't want to stop harvesting. Was there a crate? It'll be back. Oh, and the Falcon Wing says that MS is a mana stone, not multiple sclerosis. So, we're good. It is, but his context is mana stones. So we would much rather have mana stones. No? Are you being followed? Well... I guess you are by me. Take that, big mouth. Nuke him. Damn, that thing is tough. Oh, there's another one, like right on the ramp. Oh. Get him, pet. Luckily. Yeah, well, luckily I don't have to be smart. I have you and a pet. So what are we at? We are now five out of seven. Yay, oh my gosh. He says, I'll give you a choice. Uh-oh, this is going to make people jealous. Says the crit 17 stone is down to 400,000 at the moment. <laughs> So you can have the mana stone and wait for the price to go up, or I'll keep the stone and just give you 400,000. 
Wow. That's insane. I don't know. I feel bad taking stuff. No, I don't. <laughs> I'll take gifts. I have no shame. I ain't too proud to beg. Yeah, my wife is. She's like, I'm... Yeah, I'm the, I'm the awful one. Oh. Oh. Where in the world? You know... No, he's... Something shot at us and my pet went up to do it. He's just doing his own thing. So I'm going to try it again. Alright. Uh oh. Of course, that one decides. Yeah, we're invincible though. We actually have not lost at this game yet. Yeah, but actually I'm okay because I've got this shield that I cast after it's dead and then he can't damage me. So, I guess I should have put it on before he, uh... I guess I should put this shield of invincibility before it attacks me. So, oh, and Falcon Wing says, I'm a millionaire, it's no big deal. That's nice. It's good to have friends with money. So, yes, we will accept your mana stone. Okay, I guess I can't take that. I okay, she wants to complete the quest too. Apparently this isn't the kind of quest where we get to share the box updates. And that's terrible. Terrible news. Yes. Yep, she takes care of me. Go, flame bolt. Fly straight, fly true. Yeah, I gotta work up my gamer body because we did so much of the Guild Wars 2 that I've actually got, I'm suffering my my repetitive s carpal tunnel stuff in my arms and my shoulders from playing because I usually limit my gaming throughout the week. I believe it or not, I'm a, I'm a casual, casual gamer and so to sit down and play as much as I did over the weekend just has ruined my shoulders and my arms. I mean, it's crazy. I went to do push-ups today and it was like, that really actually kind of hurts. Really kind of hurt. I haven't even tried to do a pull-up. I figured I'll just not. Oh, I'm being attacked again. Oh, don't worry. My pet has it along with the Dakaki Watcher and this other stuff. Don't worry, we're safe. We're invincible. Hello, cast. And this thing. Oh yeah, we're good. We got this. Yeah, I have like full hit points. And Amy says, I will try and see if a friend who plays in Karun starts a new character in Seal, and I would give him one million. <laughs> All these rich people. Oh, I was looting corpses. Oh, I got Naya's necklace. So, I'll go with that. Now I grab my silver. And then Obram says, The gamer's elbow, eh? Yep, I got me some gamer's elbow. Of course, that hasn't stopped me from, like, you know, actually continue playing. It's still play it just, just hurts I figure the only way to get stronger is just to keep playing <laughs> it's either that or it's gonna end up hurting me somehow permanently I don't know Ugh. well it wasn't like I tried to run into the arachnid the arachnid kinda ran into me I didn't see it. It blends in with the foliage. They're like hunters. But here, I help you kill this thing. And it's dead. See? I help you. 
help you. And Zichunga, how's it going? And, ooh, I'm going to use the pot. Nope, apparently not. Cobalt cook. What do we need the cooks for? Ah, uh, okay. We will get you a necklace. Even if we have to kill every little thing running around the map. And Falcon Wing says, I had to change the way I sit and hold the mouse. Yeah, I definitely need to work on better ergonomics for long-term gaming. Because cause the way that I'm sitting here, it it's like my keyboard and mouse must not be quite at the right height. Because my shoulders don't seem to be resting comfortably. I seem to kind of be holding them up. And it just, like I guess, just held them up too much. Something, I don't know. If I could like just connect the stuff to my brain and I could just kind of lay down and steer with my mind, that would probably be the best solution. There, we're getting better. Getting better with my tab targeting. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, Clyde. Oh, he's got a gift for me. Please be coins. What do we got? A bag. We have a bag within a box. Yep, two iron coins. Nice. Okay, she is up here. There we go, tab targeting. There's my pet. Uh. <clears throat> I hope. Yeah, see, so I finally got all my parts, but now we're waiting on, on my wife to grab her necklace, so this is going to be one of those, you know, kill, kill, kills until we get a necklace. So annoying. Ooh, 30 hit points on a mana stone. Got my DP built up. See how high I can go before I cast it. And I can't remember which of these silly spells is. I have several that are grayed out. Hmm. Oh well. I haven't used it yet, actually. I don't think I've used that DP skill yet. So I probably, at some point, will run around and just have a DP bar sitting at the highest level and never bother using it. Quartz. Oh, hey. I can get it. I can actually do some quartz now. Oh, yeah. Check out my pet. Yay. Now I want to give you a tickle. Ah, there it is. He likes the tickles. That is exactly what I'm calling it these days.
You still waiting on your necklace? All right. Once we get your necklace, we'll go turn some of this stuff in. No. Let's see, mini map, where is she at? Did you get all your boxes? Oh. Do you want this one? Yep, that's my last one. Oh, where'd you come from? Hello, Mr. Loudmouth. Mm. You're gonna wish you hadn't spawned right on top of my character. That's what I thought. Money. Hundred and twenty thousand. Uh, if that was a hundred and twenty thousand platinum in EverQuest two, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh my wife, I, s I said it'd be a great amount of platinum. She looked and she goes, I have eight hundred thousand platinum. This goes, no, just eight hundred. Like 800,000, that would be awesome. Oh, she spent a little bit of it. What would be nice is they got a gambling game. They got a gambling game. What is it? The, the Gib Glibber Gliber? What are those rewards? Those are like pretty high amounts. The Glibber. Yeah, the, they got a little gambling game if you do it. I mean, it, the payout is like a phenomenal amount of money. Because you had to pay in order to spin, and I think the way it's set up is that the money you put in pretty much just goes into the pot. So, I'll, you know, kind of like a lottery. So if, yeah, well, yeah, it's, it is called a lottery. It's just I don't think the the proceeds go anywhere. Like a, you know, I think the money you put in just goes right into the pot. Anywho, I don't know how many people have won. But it's usually just this insane amount of platinum just sitting in the lottery waiting for somebody to win it. Oh, wow. My wife says the last person that won on her server won seven, uh, about seven, 774 platinum, which is not much compared to some of the numbers I've seen in there. Wow, she said she sold an item for 660 plat, which is, I mean, to me, that's a lot. I remember when that game came out, we were happy just to get our first gold piece. Fry it. I'll give you my necklace. Fire. Oh, it's dead. Got it. Okay. Did you get your crates? Alright, now we just can turn that in. No? Well, we might have some stuff to do, but we have to start getting out of here. Okay, she says it's our last thing that we can get done. Because we gotta go see Falcon Wing real quick. Wants to go see our friend. What was that? Oh, he's up there. Here, I'll just, I'll send my pet. There, my pet will assist. Oh, I can't.
Okay, and while you do that, there. I'll have a have a chair. Ooh, a knowledge headband. Oh yeah, that's that's better. Roll dice. Cause I can actually use that. Well Well Yeah. Cause that the only thing worse on it is evasion, but it's got magic resist and physical defense. Yeah, so I want that. Now, let's see what it does for my hat. Okay, well, you know, I'll take it. It's a headband. I mean, you know, it's nothing that cool, but we'll take it. It's a change, because I've been wearing that hat since forever. Can I ring the bell too? <gasps> what the heck is that? Are you serious? That looks like the girl that the one guy fell in love with. But like 20 times bigger. Oh my gosh. Alright. I got my odium. Out of my inventory. Alright. And then, uh. <laughs> Obram says, I'm not really fond of the headgear in this game. Yeah, I haven't really seen one that just jumps out and says, That's awesome. And Amy says, I never show my helmet. They all look horrible. Yeah, I mean, especially on a guy, a little headband. Probably not very cool. I want, like, a cool battle helmet for a mage. You'd think they got something neat. Oh, we could fly down there. Cool. And Obram says, looks silly. Well, but I rock the headband, so I know the headband doesn't look silly. What you talking about? Oh, oops! Oh, oh, oh! That's not what I wanted. So my thought was, never mind. But I'm alive. The headless statue. I will try to restore you. And Abby says, yeah, maybe NCSoft knew they all look bad, so they put in the option to hide it so you'll look like you made your character, but still having a helmet, but just hidden. Yeah, which is cool because we've played quite a few games where the helmets are pretty crummy looking. Uh, Guild Wars 2 definitely has its share of stinkers, so we, we hide our helms in that game too. Oh, snap. There's your head. Statue. Let's see what happens when I put this head on. Here, this head belongs to you. Gotta read the little story. Oh. We will restore it. Oh, the mouth even moves.
Yeah. And my wife goes, and he loses his head again. Yeah, so I go to all that work just to have him lose his head anyway. You know, if that's what you're going to do, you should have just gave me the, you know, experience and right not without having me do all that work. Because I had to get my pretty robes all wet. Terrible. Mountain Abixes. Yeah. That's all I was saying. Alright, so So it's getting late, so we're gonna start heading on back to our rest spot. And then I will try if I ever float to not end my wings prim oh that didn't get me very far. So my wife makes it look like she can float along the ground for long periods of time. Me? I don't do so good. She's like an expert at it. Here we go. Uh, it didn't work. I didn't get my hand on the mouse or on the. She said you got pulled back a little bit, and I didn't didn't get over to pull back in time so <sighs> look at her go golly <laughs> shut up look at her go what well that didn't work what do you mean pull back <laughs> oh the you know, well, my arrow key is the same as pulling back, and I don't float with a darn. All right, we're gonna try again. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, well, whatever. Who cares? Flying is stupid anyway. Uh, and then Emmy says. Well, I took two hours deciding how I wanted my character, so I don't want it looking stupid like it does with a helmet. I know, that's like the curse of the helmet. It does. It takes forever to get your person. you got to get the hair color right. First, got to get the hair choice. And it's not like there's only three choices. They have like 40 options of hair per character. So it does. It takes a long time to get the right color to go with the right hairstyle. Because I have noticed that um, some of them, like if you change the hair color it like changes the makeup too like a lot of that stuff is linked so it it takes forever it takes forever to get to start right look so yeah if you're gonna go to all that effort you don't want to cover it up with a helmet oh I gotta talk to the person 14 right there's your stupid jewelry I want your magic boost Hey, I'm level 17. Yay, and I got earrings. What kind of wizard am I? He's like a metrosexual wizard. Take it. And, oh, clicked on the wrong, wrong guy. That's right, yes. Just call me Bottled Lightning. Whatever you do, just don't call me animal lover. Okay, so how's that? Hello. Hey. The one time I didn't want to uh, fly, I did. Okay, so I'm going where? Yeah, I can see why you need millions of money, because you use it every time you like fly or teleport or something. And it like goes up, it seems like, every time I go get a level. And Falcon Wing says, grats. Yeah, I need to come up with some kind of like phrase or something when I level up. Booyah. We'll just go with that. Booyah.
That'll be our level up catchphrase. Booyah! And there we are. And we'll pick this stuff up another time. Hello, General. Okay, what I want? Gloves. Okay, go on. Got some in progress stuff here to update. Or just to see if it's ready. Alright, good. He's all good. All right, then Falcon Wing says, I'm waiting there. Send me an invite. One sec, need to relog. Oh, okay. Well, here we are. We're here. So just let us know when you're ready. We'll do you a quick invite. And then, oh, uh, he'll let us know. Yeah, I had, we had written down all your, like, your 30 different variations of Falcon, so... Just let us know which one to invites. Falcon Shadow is the one we had last time, I believe. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah. I think I gotta go up to town though to get the wizard trainer, so I'll do that another time. I'm getting stuck on these pillars. All right, let's check roots. Yeah, I'm getting like all kinds of spells and skills, and there's like three that I use. So almost seems silly to have so many to choose from. All right, he says, he says, he says he's coming to this, the, the proper channel. Okay. Oh, she's got the chat too. Cup of strawberry, please. My wife's got strawberries. Oh. I'm sure they don't want to see you feeding me a strawberry. <laughs> or maybe they do. I don't know. She said two more people popped on when you fed me a strawberry. I gotta remember I should mute it too, otherwise you're gonna hear me crunching seeds and stuff of a strawberry. Alright, there he is. Yeah, I'll take your last one. Wow. That is cool. Thank you very, very much. Now let's take a look at this thing. That is a level 60 mana stone. Crit strike plus 17. That is awesome. Oh. My wife wants to know why you're so big. I think... Uh, I don't think we asked you that last time. But she wants... To, first of all, she says she loves the armor and she loves the blue color. And then she says, why are you so big? Because, yeah, you are kind of... I guess you just put your sliders up. I don't know, unless you got some kind of illusionary form <laughs> yeah I can tell it's getting late it's a good thing my wife doesn't have a microphone All right. Well, thank you very much for that. So what we'll do, we'll figure out how to work the auction house thing and put it on. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, when I get the auction house, you said they're going for about 400000 I'm still going to put it at 800000 I was feeling it. I think we had that conversation once before. 
800,000, that's going to be my price. I think that's what we said before. You said that would be high, but I was going to do it. I'm going to put it at 800,000. Oh, you're scrubbing your buddy? Is it that time? Let's make him exercise. There we go. Let's see. Oh, under five to 600,000, I think. All right, so he says right now there's about 20 of them on the market. So probably maybe not the 800,000. Okay, I accept that. But I like to think positive. So I'll when I get it to the market, I'll put it on there for 600,000. 600,000 and we'll see how long it sits there. Of course, with my luck if people like do their pricing the way that I do, someone's going to put it at 599,999, you know, that one copper or one gold kin kinny whatever these things are called off. And I hate when people undercut me by like just one cuz that's what I do to them one. Oh. Alright, I has to run. I gotta go find my wife. There she is. Oh, okay. She says we're gonna stick it on the market right now. So we're gonna go put it on the market. Alright, so I gotta go up to Sanctum. Golly, at these travel prices, I'm gonna have to put it at 600000 but if it sells for that, I will be impressed. Market was the, oh, really? There's a market here? Oh, he said there was a market down there. Eh. In oh, well, we'll find it. <laughs> She's almost at the other market here, so. Well, we'll show it to her next time, and then she'll have it memorized. Oh, she wanted to buy her books from the wizard or from her priestly person, too. That's why. Okay, never mind. She had porpoise for going up here. <laughs> she has no dolphins. So when I said porpoise, it was to be funny. Apparently she thought that was funny because she said she had no dolphins. It gets late. That's the late talk talking. All right, where's my wizard? There it is. Now. Yeah, 17, I thought, Spirit Master, there it is. Yeah, because at like one point, like when you first start the game, you get your skills like every odd level, and then I think it's when you hit 12, then it transitions to every even level, so they just tease us. Oh, no, it goes back 19, oh, 19, then 22, that's 25. Okay, no, nope. just every once in a while they kind of change it up. It's because these are at 19. Yeah. All right, then. So it will still be a couple levels. Dang it. Okay. Oh, a person stopped running here on the screen. Ooh. Yeah, I think I just got dropped from the game. Oh, there it is. Woo! It scared me. Oh my gosh. I was like, that's a rather abrupt way to say goodnight. Just whoop. Good night, guys. My wife is ready for bed. Oh, so Falcons got the same thing. Wife aggro. Yeah, I'm about to get bed aggro, though. It's getting late for us. It is midnight here. Oh, my wife says the bed is not aggressive because we go to it. It doesn't come to us. Got it. And then Obram says, night, everyone. 
Looks like it's time to start dropping out. We just had a couple people sneak in too. There's Mini Nova, welcome, and Singular G, how's it going? And Undercryptor. Yeah, I got lost. You told me I shouldn't run and talk at the same time. You're right. So I'm coming in here now. Oh, yeah, that's right, the market. So that's cool. We got some visitors just in time to watch us put our thing on the market and then log out. So, But I tell you what, though, it's going to be uh, to the extreme. Trade broker to the extreme. Now, how do I sell stuff? <laughs> All right, let's bring the broker. This will be the first thing I put on the broker. I'm kind of excited. So what do I do? Right click it and then put a price. All right, so six. Check this out, guys. Six. Oh, not six million. That was one too many. Six hundred thousand. Hmm. Oh. Because I like fourteen thousand to put this item on. Yeah. What? I'm going to have to sell a stone just to have the money to put the stone fee up. Golly. All right. Oh, that better sell. Yeah, because that will hurt trying to put that up multiple times. So we'll see. I've got perfect. It will be up there for eight days. So eight days from now, let's see. The next time we play will be next Monday. So... I'm expecting by next Monday that I can roll up on in here and I will see that this has sold for 600,000. So I'm hoping some kind soul is watching this um, you know in in the future at some point. I'm on the seal server. You want to look for the mana crit stone sold by Jadrian, 600,000 buy it from me just so I can say, "Ha! I sold it for 600,000." That's pretty much all I got. So I will start wrapping this up. I got books, books to read, but I can't read them yet. So, or oh, I've already read them. I've got to clean up my inventory. I definitely need more inventory space. I fill up with all these mana stones. I got to apply them all the time. But that is enough for us for tonight. So, that's Ion. Another Ion Monday is down. So thank you everybody for just coming and hanging out. And that's pretty much all we do. So if you've never seen us before, this is pretty much what we do. I have uh, a few games that I stream on specific nights. So Ion is Monday. Oh, she put up her little, she got her stall going here. We do Star Trek Online. That's Tuesdays. And Wednesday, um, I call that open mic night. I just find something new to play. And so I gotta find something new for Wednesday. Thursday we do EverQuest 2. We run through player made housing and dungeons. And then Friday is open mic again. I'll find something fun. I'm hoping hoping we get another beta uh invite to either the Secret World or actually I really want Guild Wars 2 again. I kinda missed that already. But that's what we've got going on for the rest of the week. So um, you know, hopefully, hopefully you like hanging out with us and we will see you tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and see what my wife is selling here. But yeah, I'm not going to set up a stall. I'll just, <laughs> I'm, I'm betting everything on my $600,000 item I just put up there. So, all right, everybody have a good night, sleep well, and we will see you hopefully again tomorrow.